Hello and welcome back to the island Jurassic Awakening. So today's episode, we are going to put to build our base. Um, as you can see, I've already been doing some stuff off camera um, just to kind of get started, kind of get an idea of what I want to do. So I decided instead of putting a base over there where I originally was going to, I'm going to leave that with um, the foundation set up more for tames, like for breeding and stuff like that. Um, and then I'll have an area over here for for some more tames. Um, I did put in a little bit of a dock. Um, this lagoon is decent size, not much spawns in here. Um, it is fairly deep, so I might be able to put a mosa. I'm not sure. Um, definitely bazies and some exfish and probably some megalodons. Probably not a lot. But I'd probably be able to put a few for breeding purposes and stuff like that. Um, once we're at that point with water tames, I will probably um, head over to the other lagoon on the other side of the rocks. Um, and we'll kind of have both like this for breeding and then the other side for just for having tames out. So I'm probably going to finish putting some foundations here. Um, just to kind of level it out a little bit because this is very rocky and uneven ground. So um, I figured I have layers of foundation and I can put the different tames up. Um, so I have been gathering and making walls and structures and foundations. And let me show you what I've done so far. And excuse me, kind of my thought process here. So I kind of was thinking I'll put the base up here. I'm going to probably make it like two, two or three stories. And we're, what I'm going to do is extend it out and over to the other side. Because um, then as we get a little more of a foothold, um, we can start putting some stuff and and maybe gating it off and using the lagoon on the other side. Um, and as we put things down, things will kind of not spawn so much. But we're going to go ahead and do some building. So I'm going to do kind of a speedy uppy bit where I'm just going to build. You know, since boring you with um, that and having another hour or more. <laughs> video. These first videos when you first get started uh, do tend to be a little lengthy because you're, you're just you're getting started. You're you're starting your your journey. So um, so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little bit of a speedy uppy bit and uh, be back when I uh, want to get a little more done. They said, don't fall Forget all the things you've been taught, you've been told. Don't blink, don't run, don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun. My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it. Get in these voices inside to stay quiet. Gone to the place where all this began. Just start again. Oh, you won't see the light until the dark.
the beneath the bed before you go to sleep. Keep on, I shine. You surely get burned if you reach out and touch. My mind is a battle, I'm trying to hide it. Getting these voices inside to stay quiet. Under the bed.
Started as a whisper, message from a new world I'd never known. Something about it felt like I've been waiting my whole life. Is this home? I can hear each sound calling my name, and I feel angels around when I start to sing. And suddenly it feels like I was a soul for a while. Tell me, can you hear the symphony? The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue and They change but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through Just like another season 
not for long, just a time, just like another season. Maybe this time next year you'll reappear for no reason, but I'll cherish every day until you find my way this season. Okay, so it's definitely um, not done yet, but uh, the structure is pretty well done. So we'll have access to the dino pad down here, a little porch. I'm going to put some more lighting. It's kind of getting dark out here, but as soon as I get some more resources, I'll put some light out here and um, so front door I'm gonna come in and down here this will be pretty much um, the workshop yep we'll move the smithy up here and eventually I'll have a fabricator and industrial cooker um, I may end up getting um, an industrial forge eventually so hopefully um, the, the ceiling looks like it's going to be tall enough. I should be able to put an industrial forge in here. And so we have some windows that you can see out. And then we come upstairs and we have a nice little veranda. We can look out. Unfortunately, these are rocks that won't go away. So we just have to kind of live with them. But we have nice view of the lagoon so once we start to expand I could put some stairs going down and maybe some dino gates and have the larger dinos out here um, and of course the lagoon for some water dinos what I could do is uh, once I tame some megalodons and some x-fish I can just set them loose in there on on wander and on uh, neutral so anything aggressive that spawns in there they'll they'll pretty much take care of I'll put some more lights out here um, I do need to fix that roof I just noticed that um, I did have one spot up over here that it's too far in the rock so I'm not able to put anything so I'm just gonna have to deal with it but it's not that big of a Deal. So here I'll probably put like the kitchen area, I'll put the industrial cooker, some refrigerators, probably put the uh, chemistry bench up here, and uh, yeah, I, I like these windows, something different, something kind of cool, nice. Um, so in here, so in here, we'll have the bedroom, and um make a bed and probably put some storage boxes and of course some lights and stuff and then I have a loft area up here where I will put a generator so it's kind of hidden but still accessible you can also put some of the AA storage up here and um, the automated arc storage the AA storage it will um, you can set it to auto sort so it'll pull off your dinos and it'll automatically put it in the different vaults that you assign it to so that's kind of cool so I'll be able to um, to do that and have extra storage out of the way and uh, the uh, like I said the um, generator will be up there and with the AA stuff I put the um, mats in the forge, the AA forge, to make the fuel and it'll automatically put it in the generator for you, which is really cool. There's, there's no settings you have to do, that just that just automatically does. So that'll be awesome. 
So um, I think I'm going to leave this video here. Once I get it uh, kind of filled and decorated, I will um, definitely do another little base tour. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching till the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, as always, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.